Hello, today I'm going to show you how to grow Noreen's. When it comes to a frost free autumn colour, you can't really go wrong with Noreen's. They're so easy and just wonderfully simple. All you have to do is plant them in the spring and they will flower in, late, in mid to late autumn and look absolutely lovely and fresh just as everything else is starting to fade. And, look, and they'll look really nice with all the other autumn colours around as well. So they're definitely well worth growing. I've got this old pot here. Um, which is um, the perfect size really for Noreen's because Noreen's get quite tall so you want something that's a bit substantial that can um, that won't blow over with if they catch the breeze so this one's uh, just the right size it doesn't have to be this tall but it has to be quite wide and I'm going to grow three in this pot which is about 30 or 40 centimeters it's an old pot and it's already got some old soil in the bottom up to about here which is fine actually because it just really needs to be topped up with something fresh uh, it, we don't need to completely replace all of the soil so I'll leave that in there um, because Noreen's are fully hardy and they um, and they're going to stay in these pots for a very long time they'll grow back every single year um, then I'm going to add some uh, ordinary garden soil as well as multi-purpose compost because the garden soil will just add that extra bit of body which is uh, useful and Noreen's will like that compost can sort of lose nutrients after a, while, after a while and become quite light and dry out a lot and this will, uh, ordinary garden soil will just mix in with compost it'll be a combination of rich and heavy soil which will be perfect for Noreen's. So I've just dug this out of a small, dug this soil out of a small area of the garden and I'm going to add that to my pot first or you can mix the two together if you prefer. Or if you don't want to use any soil from the garden or uh, you don't have any soil to spare then you can just use a soil based compost or a loam based compost or if not then you can just use multi-purpose is absolutely fine it's just better to have something a bit heavier so I'll... that's my garden soil going in and now I'll take I'll a little bit of compost and mix that in together. There we go, to give, it a, to give it an extra boost I'm going to add some slow release fertiliser granules. So I'll stick a few scoops of that in there. I mean this display will come back year after year so it's well worth giving it a you know, good feed to start with, get it going. There we go, mix that in. Now that's filled up to about here, which is about right because I want to plant my Noreen's about 15, 20 centimetres deep. And this is what they look like when they arrive. It's an ordinary bulb that looks like a tra traditional bulb really. Uh, almost like a daffodil bulb really. This one's already got some shoots coming out the top but they don't always have that, it just depends how late in the season you're planting them. And you plant them any time in the spring, that's absolutely fine. So I'll position three in this pot, about 15 centimetres apart from each other. You can also plant them straight out in the garden at about this sort of distance, 15 centim 20 centimetres apart from each other and at a depth of about 20 centimetres and just plant them straight into borders, they're fully hardy, they'll be fine. And now I'll just top that up with my multi compost. Um, So it's got some nice heavy soil below and some com compost on top which is nice and rich and full of good nutrients so that'll be very happy, they'll be very happy in there. And finally, water it in. Give that a good half a can full of water. There we go. 
and that is all you have to do in the autumn after they've flowered then cut back the foliage and that's really all there is to it to noreens they're really really simple they look absolutely lovely um, and so now all i have to do is just wait for the lovely autumn flowers and enjoy thank you for watching my video